one is your excellency god of honor for the state of nations and the dissolution of dissolution of parliament three officers 96 ratings and the ghana navy band ready for inspection lieutenant commander michael could you report in your excellency i i your excellency Coming back, they are coming back. Yeah. 
backroom staff is what we're, we're discussing here at the foyer of Parliament. But what you see on your screens right now is President John Dramani Mahama, who at the moment is going through the process, as has always been the case, where he inspects the Guard of Honor mounted on his behalf uh, before he gets into Parliament to tell us exactly what the state of the nation is before he leaves office in the next 48 hours all other things being equal you know uh, so that's what you see you see him on your screens right now with his dark sheets as always iconic so the guard of honor eventually uh, after they've been inspected will now uh, file off and then the president will proceed into the chamber of parliament where members of parliament are there as we speak at the moment awaiting the arrival of its excellency president john dramani mahama uh, and also we also know that uh, the vice president pak kusiyemi safa is already uh, in the house he arrived earlier on uh, the president is having a communication with the commander of the guard of honor and then that would eventually end and would have him get into the chamber to get ready to tell us what the state of the nation is. Just a quick reminder that Article 67 of the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana State, and I quote, the president shall, at the beginning of each session of parliament, is now heading into the Chamber of Parliament as you see on your screens right now. So uh, members of Parliament are present there to hear what the President has to say in the final State of the Nation address. Now as I was saying, Article 67 of the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana states and I call the President shall at the beginning of each session of Parliament and before a dissolution of Parliament deliver a message on the state of the nation, unquote. So this is the constitutional requirement that the president is fulfilling before he leaves office as president of the Republic of Ghana in the next couple of days, before the official handing of our power to president-elect Nana Atudankwa Ekofuado uh, on the 7th of January, 2017. So the president is gonna be telling us there are people who raised questions about uh, this particular constitutional provision as to whether it should stand or it should be amended because it should rather be the president-elect assuming office and telling us what the state of the nation is. Uh, but then again, until that is done, Article 67 holds and the requirement for the fulfillment of that particular article is a beckoning at the moment as we speak where the president John Damani Mahama heading into the house to tell us exactly what the state of the nation is. Let me just remind you also that we're live on 3FM 92.7 streaming live on 3news.com. You will definitely get a live coverage as you see at the moment on your screens. The president is also expected to inform Ghanaians about the overall growth of the economy vis-a-vis -vis the current fiscal discipline, especially uh, in an election year uh, when gotten gone by and the revised fiscal projections during the year, uh, the crude oil prices as well and how it impacted on the economy. And then also we get details of how the state of the nation is between February 25 and now. The Speaker of Parliament, Right Honourable Doa Jaho, is just arrived as well and he is going to get into parliament and then eventually uh, take charge and preside over the proceedings of the house for the presentation of the state of the nation address so as you see on your screens right now the press uh, the speaker of parliament right honorable Doa jaho is going to take his seat and usher in the president john dramani mahama to come and tell us exactly what the state 
of the nation is. Just so you know as well that this will be the last state of the nation that Right Honorable Edward Doajaho will be presiding over a Speaker of Parliament. And his turn as Speaker of Parliament will come to an end on the midnight of January 6th when the new parliament is sworn in for a new speaker to also take office uh, duly and eventually elected by the House. A few names have come up, and as you may really be aware, Professor Michael Quay uh, has come up as well. We have the likes of Joe Gatti also coming up, and then also Freddie Blake, current acting chairman of the new Patriotic Party. All these persons' names have come up. So. The responsibility of the speaker, which is going to discharge now, is to welcome the members of parliament to the house and eventually also usher in President John Dramani Mahama. And the business of the house will begin and the paramount and the most important being the final state of the nation address to be presented by President John Dramani Mahama. So let's hear from the speaker. Right Honorable Do Ajaho. This land and people may be well and truly served, and their good purposes for the common human life be realized in our midst. O oh God, grant us a vision of our country, fair as it might be, a country of righteousness, when none shall wrong his neighbor, a country of plenty, where evil and poverty shall be done away with. A country of brotherhood, where all success shall be founded on service, and honor shall be given to the deserving. A country of peace, where government shall rest on the will of the people and the love for the common good. Bless the efforts of those who struggle to make this vision a living reality. Inspire and strengthen our people that they may give time, thought, and sacrifice to speed the day of the coming beauty of Ghana and Africa. Amen. Honourable members, may I invite the Honourable Majority Leader and the Honourable Minority Leader to join me to receive His Excellency, the President at the Central Lobby. <laughs> 